Recently real estate has really happened. Li Koshing suddenly dropped a depth bomb. Announced that he was in Hong Kong. 30% off sale of newly listed real estate. In the past 13 years. Hong Kong has always dominated the list. One of the most expensive real estate areas in the world. Never had any accidents. The first time I see the media will use the word cheap to describe a real estate in Hong Kong. This time Li Koshing finally lowered the price. Even cheaper than the surrounding second-hand houses. Why did Li Koshing do this? Is the global housing market really about to collapse? On the other side there is a company in China. Evergrande made another history. A liability of more than 2 trillion yuan. Shocked everyone in the world. What is the concept of 2 trillion in debt? That is, Hong Kong now takes over its entire GDP. Or you take Romania. The combined GDP of the Czech Republic and Finland. Not enough for Evergrande to pay off its debts. At the same time, in this global high. One interest below. Many people owe the bank a loan of 1 million. In the past year, only 20,000 to 30,000 yuan. Now it suddenly became 5 or 60,000. Puts a huge burden on everyone. At this time we see. Real estate worldwide. We have all entered an era of change. When you look at the house prices in many countries, you thought you crossed. For example South Korea. His house price fell by 40% within a year. In Australia. The top developers. They are actually queuing up one after another to close down. Then our problem is. Is real estate the best asset in the future? Should we continue to invest in real estate? This is the wealth accumulation channel. Through this video. I want you to know. Future real estate investment. The logic has changed. Xu Jiuyin, owner of Evergrande. It was really beautiful. Prosperous. Warded this Huruan. Number one on China's richest list. But with the debt thunderstorm. Two trillion in debt. Let Evergrande fall to the altar overnight. In just six years, Evergrande became insolvent. Xu Jiarin also became an old lie. Every day there are rumors on the internet that Xu Jiarin jumped off the building. I think Xu Jiarin will never jump off a building. Because when a person owes so much money, his life should be the safest. Because those creditor dads will not allow. Xu Jiarin ended his life so easily. The other richest man, Wang Jianlin, is not much better. A debt crisis of 600 billion a few years ago. It's not been long. When he heals his scars, he forgets the pain. Signed A. The listing agreement of its real estate company. As a result, four consecutive listings were unsuccessful. Then lead to the entire Wanda Group. On a list of dishonesty. Became a rascal again. Many people feel that the current real estate situation is chaotic. Because of this epidemic. There is also an adjustment of this high interest rate caused by. But I want to tell you. The factor of high interest rate actually accounts for a very small proportion. The reason is simple. Through the price of the past two years, everyone has seen. A market with high interest rates. In the end, it only brought about an increase in rent. When the tenant goes to rent the house. Become more difficult. Instead he created a. A rise in housing prices. Another point is. Interest rates are actually predictable. Because we all know. How can the interest rate increase? It should be over by the end of this year. But what exactly caused? It turns out that these people who dominate the rich list. 
They've all turned into a bunch of rascals now. This is actually the most important. A force in the real estate investment cycle. Most people don't realize. You are already in a cycle. It's hard to see the cycle. It is even more difficult to make good use of the cycle. Our past 20 years. Actually in a. Inside an ascending channel of real estate. He is in a. An era of reinforced concrete. For example, the list of the world's richest people in 1987. You can see in these 10 people. Eight of them are actually engaged in real estate. The richest man in Japan, at that time the richest man in South Korea. All are from real estate. But if you look at the last few years. Rich list words. You will find. Can't find anyone related to real estate at all. So what I'm going to tell you next is very important. Because if you understand the master's layout. You will know. How should you make good use of the cycle like them? Lee Koshing sold the property at a 30% discount. I think it's a complete overkill. Because the number of properties he sold was limited. Only 100 properties. For the whole family of Lee Koshing. 100 properties. Not even 101, 000 of his assets. And after these 100 sets of real estate were listed. Showed up the next morning. A large number of people are queuing. The rush to buy this property. 100 properties. Finally received a subscription of 3000 sets. It's hard not to doubt. Is this old man advertising? Another one you don't worry about. Because he can't lose money. Because compared to when he hoarded this years ago. The price of the property. The current selling price is for him. Will not lose money. And more real estate industry insiders are speculating. Lee Koshing is deliberately bad-mouthing the property market. Prepare for the acquisition of the funds he is about to return. But let's look at Lee Koshing. He still maintains. A title of the richest man in Hong Kong. And claiming to have bought half of the British Empire. In 2021. Big four accounting firms. Jointly produced a copy of Lee Koshing's. A revaluation report of properties owned by Chung Kong Assets. In this 885-page report, we can see that the assets currently controlled by Chung Kong have exceeded 500 billion Hong Kong dollars. But you need to know, it's just a company owned by Lee Koshing. Lee Koshing's real strength is his understanding of the cycle. Lee Koshing has a golden sentence called never taking the last copper. I want to eat only that piece of fat. This sentence best interprets Lee Koshing. An understanding of the cycle. Many of us only see. Lee Koshing is very good at doing business. But many of us ignore. Lee Koshing's long-term judgment on the cycle. In the mid-60s. The social situation in Hong Kong is extremely chaotic. At that time. There was a wave of rich people in Hong Kong. All opted to sell the property at that time. But Lee Koshing found. As the pattern in the mainland has gradually stabilized. Hong Kong as a springboard to the mainland and the world. There will be a golden cycle. So he in that chaotic situation. At a very low price. Absorbed the properties generously. For Lee Koshing's wealth. You can tell from the title given to him by the common people. He's a superman, he's a godlike being. Even more amazing. In 2013. At a time when housing prices in mainland China are soaring. Li Koshing began to sell a lot in Shanghai. Some assets in Guangzhou and Hong Kong. Started a layout of global assets. At that time. Many people said that Lee Koshing was old. 
Li Koshing's vision is gone. But Li Koshing just said lightly. To answer all questions. He said no industry is ever going to be good. No industry will continue to suffer. In such an environment. He vigorously acquired three British ports. A railway group. One electric company, two gas companies. A water company. At that time, people bought half of the UK with Lee Koshing. To describe Lee Koshing's crazy investment. Look back now. You will feel. The judgment Lee Koshing made at the time. Really amazing. He was at the height of a real estate cycle. Opted out. Then transfer all funds to. In more developed economies. Some parts of the infrastructure. These plates are characterized by more stable. Can bring him sufficient cash flow. Do you think Lee Koshing doesn't invest in real estate? No. A few years ago, Lee Koshing started in Southeast Asia. Especially in Malaysia and Vietnam for layout. Because Lee Koshing saw these countries in Southeast Asia. A new cycle is about to usher in. Stable political landscape. The economy is taking off. At the same time, what about the price of labor? Still relatively cheap. This is a master's understanding of the cycle. But those of us who don't understand cycles. The result will be completely different. Because when you don't understand the cycle. You will mistakenly think that the money you earn. It's all earned by your skills. As early as 2017. At that time, Lee Koshing had been running for many years. The government introduced a requirement for real estate. A provision for deleveraging. Because real estate was in China at that time. Given too much investment. A financial property. But the then boss Xu of Evergrande. Just unbelievable. At this time. Choose to continue to expand your real estate empire. The wave of dividends that he could have earned him. Quietly withdrew. But he chose to continuously enlarge the leverage. Give a simple example. If Evergrande spends 100 yuan to buy a land. 50 bucks to build a house. Sell it for 200 yuan. He can easily earn 50 yuan. But he chose not to. He chose to pre-sale. First put the common people's 200 yuan into my pocket. Let the contractor do. To advance funds to pay for the construction of this building. So he can take out 200 yuan. Continue to buy land. Such a piece of land can bring three pieces of land. Three lands can bring nine lands. Keep buying like this. Led to the national. Everywhere is the development of Evergrande. During this period, Xu Jiarin also ushered in a pinnacle of his life. Not only real estate. Also entered the automotive industry. Invest in football. What movie and what Evergrande Binquan insurance? Make a car. Let's just throw 100 billion in easily. Without blinking. Evergrande who plays football. We all know that we lose billions a year. He not only did it himself, but also dragged Ma Yun in. At that time, Jack Ma was scolding Xu Jiarin in private. Said that he regretted investing in football career. Billions a year. This business is really not worth doing. And after the Evergrande mine explosion incident. A standard for this leader of Evergrande to stay in a hotel. After being uploaded online. It aroused even greater public outrage. We can see that the eating habits above are. Eat only imported fruits. And then eat Liao Jinseng. Then there must be a process of KTV singing. And Boss Xu is still. At a price of tens of millions a year. Keep a dance troupe. I don't understand in such an environment. 
he still has the mood to watch these. Do young girls dance for him? I have a friend. My family does business for Evergrande. Evergrande owed them more than 200 million when it was the highest. I thought I found a rich father. The results of it. Now this money may not get a penny back. Think about it. More than 200 million for an ordinary enterprise. Mean what? Means that his 1, 0, 0, 0 plus employees. More than 1,000 families behind. Most likely won't get paid. These entrepreneurs never understood the truth. That's the money he made. In fact, they are all given by periodic dividends. This is actually related to our Chinese. The idea of buying a house is actually the same. Why are overseas Chinese buying houses so crazy? Many people say that the economy has grown, right? Being rich is only one aspect. If you have experienced or heard of China's real estate, from the 1990s to the early 2000s, the stage of skyrocketing. You may not even have bought a house. But in your head, there is a memory that is unforgettable. It's a fool not to buy a house. This is an effect of the cycle on us. So you understand. Why when Wang Jianlin was interviewed. Set a small goal. Earn him 100 million first. 4a. For those who are in the dividend cycle of the times. 100 million is really not that difficult. Huawei founder Ren Jingfei once said. It is difficult for Chinese enterprises to. A big reason for some good businesses. The real estate bonus in that era was too big. After some enterprises grow bigger. Make money in real estate. The new in the original traditional industry. Much easier. Who wants to work hard at this time? Look at the Japanese again. Their attitude towards real estate is completely different. I used to have an investment house. It was leased to a Japanese. A couple sent to Australia on business. That couple is really interesting. At that time, the rent was about. It's 500 yuan a week. But he proposed a price of 530 yuan a week. But the conditions. It's a two-year contract with me all at once. He may know the rent. Because it goes up every year. He wants to lock up the rent. But he did something unexpected. He gave me all the two years rent at once. When the two years rent was due, he moved out. When I went to inspect the house. I am interested in the details of the house. Really shocked. Not only tidy up. And put the bulb that was originally defective. Replaced with a new light bulb. He told me. Because his wife wants to take over his parents. So what are they going to do? Find a bigger house to continue. Pay two years rent and rent for another two years. I was curious and asked him. I said why don't you think about yourself? Buy a house. Then he told me. He said that for his generation. Buying a house is simply not a routine option. Because they experience the Japanese economic bubble after. The period of life when the real estate plummeted. At that time, most households in Japan were heavily indebted. Entered the real estate. Unexpectedly, the housing market suddenly fell in half. Many families are deeply in debt, or even bankrupt. That childhood memory. Had too much impact on them. So you will find. Japanese not only in his own country. When they go overseas, they don't buy a house. Even now the Japanese government is giving them houses. None of them want. Of course. Japan's cycle is also coming to a new cycle. This is why Buffett. Ma Yun these investment tycoons. 
One reason why everyone is investing in Japan now. If you are interested in Japan's economy, you can at the chat area hits the Japanese economy or Japan. I will be the future. Do it for everyone. Why is Japan's current negative interest rate a case of negative population growth? The economy has ushered in a wave of dividends. Then attract global investors. They are all concerned about what happened in Japan. How are they financed? Just put this land as collateral to you. Then every year give you a fixed rate of return of 10% to 15%. Then many people will think they are liars. I tell you they ain't liars. Because people at that time were really too optimistic. No one realizes you're in inside a cycle of growth. But when the cycle goes down, when it comes to 2018 and 19, the whole market is dumbfounded. What I just said, that wave of real estate fund people. I tell you there's none left. I only realized later. Investing in real estate overseas. Compared with investing in real estate in the mainland at that time. His thinking is different. There are also investment attributes of overseas real estate. But he actually tends to a 5% every year. A fixed rate of return of up to 10%. As for the regulatory role that the government can play in the middle. Very strong. In addition, it is subject to, for example, immigration policy. This global economic policy has a great influence. Can real estate make money? Can make money. But it's not a profiteering business. I have said so much. I just want you to know. Real estate is a very cyclical industry. Never hope to hit a spot. This is very difficult. But in real estate, who are the people who can really make money? A person with a long-term vision. Lee Koshing has a unique vision. In fact, it is not only reflected in the investment in real estate. Take a look at his cultivation of future generations. Also really. It's amazing. Lee Koshing was in Lee Zakai Lee Zehu. When I was eight or nine years old. Just start. Took them to various board meetings. Today we look at the 95-year-old Lee Koshing. Although it has been retired for many years. But his granddaughter now. Lee sighed. The eldest granddaughter of the post-95 generation. Already in the name of a family listed company. Been on the commercial stage for many years. But let's look again. National husband Wang Sikong. Wang Jianlin shouted solemnly at the front desk. As long as Wang Sikong can post a Weibo. Can be properly destroyed with him. Wang Sikong is nearly 40 years old. Still obsessed with falling in love with internet celebrities every day. And his assets have already been frozen. On the list of dishonest people. Even his father can't save him. Many people even read Wang Sitsong's story and said, The biggest contribution the rich second generation can make to the family. Just don't start a business. That video talks about this. I want to give you an important summary. I want to sort it out with you. A change in real estate investment thinking. Investment attributes of real estate in the next 50 years even within 100 years, still won't change. Because real estate is the common people. The most understandable and simple financial product. But, the gap between housing prices in first-tier cities and third- and fourth-tier cities will gradually increase. As resources become scarcer, and real estate is above the attributes of investment. More importantly, a control over the cycle. I'll show you a picture. This picture is summarized by the famous investment group. 
the decade from 2005 to 2015. One for all investment and wealth management products. A leaderboard of ROI. It's very interesting to see. In 2011, gold has the highest return on investment. In 2012 it was real estate. But in 2013 it became the stock market. In 2014, it changed back to real estate. So I bought gold in 2011. Then in 2012 began to buy real estate. Started buying stocks again in 2013. Then real estate. Such a perfect stepping on every time node. This is just a dream. That's why a lot of people in the investing world say. You will find that the market can really satisfy. User needs. It's the liars. Go and taste it. About cycle changes. After the 2008 subprime mortgage crisis. At that time a very famous book came out. Too big to fail. This is how it is described in this book. The fundamental inferiority of human beings is. It's easy to make the mistake of. I always think I'm strong enough to never fall down. But it is not the truth. No one can win forever in an industry. If you just hold your old job. In variable words. Lee Koshing may still be selling plastic tweeds. I have been in the past few years. Since starting to do business consulting. Met people from all walks of life. I found more than real estate. Even business. In fact, the most important thing is to control the cycle. I found that there are actually many people around us. He is quietly making a fortune. For example, I have a user during the epidemic. Make a lot of money by selling wallpaper through cross-border e-commerce. But this industry will fail immediately after the epidemic. I still have users who started doing that a few years ago. It's those balloons from kids' birthday parties. Those products. What scene did you reach at that time? Just in short supply. He hired a bunch of people. Make balloons in your own living room. And he himself is busy collecting money every day. In the past, many traditional industries. Be it real estate, or even beauty. These seem to be lucrative industries. These few years, a major change has taken place in investment logic. If you want to keep an eye on business at all times, know where the dividends of the future era lie. I strongly recommend you. Be sure to follow our channel. Also, turn on the little bell. So you won't miss me later. Other great videos. In the future, I will also make various industries. How to start an internet business from scratch. Get from scratch. The secret to a steady stream of high quality users. Keep sharing with you. This is Wealth Accumulation Channel. See you next time.